care about who is watching. Taben is a music artist and producer who is one of the founders of DRB and Creative Elevate. Taben records in his home studio where he focuses on writing music, producing and sound engineering. The music scene is quite, it's quite interesting. It's, it's, I feel like it's different. I don't, there's a music scene and then there's a turn up scene, like a club scene. So it's, it's two different worlds right now. But then there's also the cash scene. And it's like if you're in that scene, you're in the scene. No, I'm good where I'm at, you know, it's just, I'm blessed. I'm genial right now. I'm working on some of his stuff. Um, he's, he's, a, he's an incredible artist, probably. You can't really put him in a box. Like, it should be interesting to see where he chooses to, to lay, to sort of, t where he chooses to take over, because he's that type of guy. You know, whatever he puts his mind to sonically, I think he can do the type thing. I've never actually met Alo face to face, but we have quite a close relationship. We spoke quite in, in depth. Um, yeah, he's a good, he's a, he's a solid guy, one of my guys, my close guys. Definitely gonna work with him a lot more when I see him eventually. Yo, man, everyone in this camp really, like all them guys, they're onto some magic. Good bunch. You know, they dropped, like I was like, I didn't see the engine. I like his stuff, like I bump his stuff. I actually bump his stuff in the group. Nah, he's, he's a cool guy. Tabena released his debut album, GGY, in 2017, with features from David O, Cassian, Senzile, Stan, Icy, Mo Pepper, and Shepard Pepper. And I thought GGY is pretty much something on the project that has no meaning. So instead of giving anything meaning, I'll use the thing that has no meaning sum up the whole project. Everybody else is doing it big. I'm in the trap house. The house saw a lot of damage. Oh yeah. Well, yeah, that was lovely. It was lovely because, I mean, obviously it had been a while since I'd seen everyone because they'd all moved back. And so Bud was here doing some work and then we were staying in the crib at the time and, you know, opportunity came about and it was too nice to turn down. So, well, early stages, early times, I was, I was here in England with just my boys from school. And you know, we were all here, our parents were Nigerian, obviously in Nigeria, so a lot of the time we had to gang up to, you know, stay somewhere safe. And most times it would be in the studio because that was a safe environment where our parents knew we weren't going to be doing too much. I mean, yeah. We're kind of bad boys that turned good because of the studio. So it worked out for us. All our parents were happy to know that we were all making music because they knew exactly what it was all about for us. So it was a big, it was a big deal then at the time. And obviously, we, we all grew up together and grew up like in general just as men, learning how to take care of ourselves, having lived together and stuff. So when we did spread out and go into the world a bit more, it was easier. Working with a few other artists and music we're working on. Game change. Game. Changing. <laughs> we work with a lot of female R&B, female artists, Tomi Agape, Zinzi. Um, like I said, um, very interesting sounds coming out. And it should be very interesting to see how the, the fan base responds to, to that. But you know, I'm a, I'm a kid. Highly inspired by hip hop, American music, as you call it. African, raised in Nigeria, part of the early Nigerian music scene. Lived a lot of my life, grown up here in England without going back to Nigeria very often. So I've sort of been stuck here since I've been here. So whatever that has put into me is here. It's like pissing at this point. I might as well make something out of it. There's other people that are making money from their piss, so I can't. Act. But if I don't make money, it's not going to stop me from needing a piss. I'm just going to let everything out pretty soon. So watch out, watch out. There's a lot coming. It's a bit different, so I don't want to confuse everyone too much. So. It's Benham music. Tao Benham music. You should look forward, it. forward to it. There's definitely a lot of music coming out of Camp Talbana. Even with his absence, his presence is still felt through the artists he has inspired and collaborated with over the last decade.
Whether or not another project is released, Tabena will forever be valued as one of the musical pioneers of his generation. Hey young woman, young woman, you are the man. I've been trying to get you to overstand. The Alternative Network.